Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. I have a level showcase for you today called Muncher's Heaven, Darby's Hell. This comes from Psycho, the guy that's been sharing a lot of crazy glitches with us lately. In turn, this ends up being one of the craziest glitch levels I've ever played. It's very awesome. As you can see right from the start, we have spinning arrows, we have layered tracks that spell out words in ways that aren't normally possible. Throughout this level, you'll see tons of weird random things. It's hard to name them all, but we'll uh, definitely point out a lot of them as we go through this playthrough. I saw a video of him beating the level, which helped me a lot, but I am doing this after only watching the video once, so hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get through here. In this section, we'll see lots of things sliding across the ground. He's came up with a way that you can actually put conveyor belts behind ground. You definitely haven't seen that before. It's very unique and very cool. Also up top, you'll notice spikes and ground pieces layered, which isn't normally possible either. And some ground pieces there that don't belong where they're at. Throughout this, we'll see lots of weird things like that. Here we have the word fly spelled out with layer tracks once again. Here we have to make our way into this little room here. Jumping above the question mark block, going in and hitting those little breakable bricks. Of course, in Super Mario World, they just spin. Go into the door. Here we just have to shoot the ball bomb with the fire flower. But notice the munchers. They're moving in a pattern almost like they're on tracks, but they're not on tracks. It's definitely very crazy and really neat looking. Later on, this will cause the uh, bob -omb and the uh, Koopa Troopa both to drop down to the beginning. That's where we'll get one of the pink coins we need. Now here we're going to have to dive bomb so that muncher gets out of the way so we can go into that pipe over there. There we go. Muncher's out of the way. We can now go in the pipe. Once we're in the pipe, we just need a superstar. If we get the superstar, we'll use it to hop on these munchers, and then we can get over to that door on the top right. There we go. Now we have a little puzzle here where we have to throw a shell mitt over there, bounce it off the springs just right, and get it to the pink coin at the top. Notice how the munchers are sinking into the clouds like they're going into pipes almost. Definitely really cool. All right, after many, 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 many tries, there we go, we get the pink coin. Now we'll go through the door. Now we gotta go back out here. We have one pink coin down, four to go. Now we'll need a cape so we can fly to the next section. Thank you. Now we can fly over here. We get over here, dive bomb once again. It releases that flying buzzy beetle. We'll actually need him to go through the door here. Once we go through the door, we'll have more munchers coming out of nowhere. Some of them coming out of the ground, some of them just kind of appearing. Definitely really, really cool. We see another pink coin down there we're gonna have to get at some point. I'm going that's a little weird, but I managed to get through without getting hit, which is nice. And we'll enter the pipe. This is another one of those puzzles that's a little bit tricky to figure out because we have one-way uh, walls stacked on other one-way walls, which usually isn't possible. Which makes a two-way wall. So it's really tricky to figure out your way through here. All right, after many, many, many tries once again, finally hop across here just right and get into the door and here we have super crazy layered uh, tracks but also a spike hidden in the middle it's easy to take a hit there we go through the door looks like we appear in the same exact spot but now there's a pink coin now we're back in the uh, double one-way wall room exit the pipe we have two more pink coin to get as you can see I'm a little confused here, but I know there's a pink coin somewhere around here. We get over here. There it was right there. I flew back because I thought it was under this area, but then I realized that I'd messed up. So once again, fly back over here. Find this little tree design. There's that muncher room again. There's definitely some weird layered ground pieces there above that door. Now we can hitch a ride in this cloud. Fly under here, snag that pink coin, take a hit once again, but no big deal. We grab a second cloud. We have one pink coin left to get, which is at the very beginning of the level, where he spelled out welcome using layered tracks. Up here you can snag a one up if you need one. 
Here we get a little vine so we can climb down here. We can climb right through the cloud. We have some more munchers to dodge. We're back to the little welcome sign. I almost killed myself there. Basically right here, you just want to be careful. You got to use the ball bomb to get that pink coin. You have to drop it just right. You could also kick the shell possibly off of one of the ground pieces and get it. Took me a few tries, but eventually I get it. All right, now that we have the key, we can go through the locked door. Here we enter the pipe. And now using these glitches, we have tons of things layered here. Lots of weird things going on. Bob bombs coming out of the ground. We have cannons that appear to be on a track up there that aren't moving. Just lots of weird things. It's really hard to really comprehend. There's so much going on there that the game actually slows down here. It's in like slow motion. I will speed this one up as well because it's super tedious. There's definitely a conveyor belt behind these ground pieces, which are also layered really weird. Now they're in separate squares like that. Definitely different. All right, so here we have it sped up. This just took really, really long because of the slow motion and it's a little bit tedious to get in there and kill Bowser Jr. Once you do, it's kind of hard too because of the conveyor belts, it's not too easy to get into the pipe. But eventually, we do get to the pipe and we do sneak in. Once you get through the pipe, you finish the level. Definitely a crazy, awesome glitch level. You have to go back and really watch it and pay close attention. Even through editing, I noticed little things I didn't notice while playing. I will be doing a tutorial showing you how to do some of the stuff from this level very soon. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you around.